Hi, welcome to Spiritual Exercises, where we're giving it up for Lent, giving up our preconceived ideas of God. And we're doing it through using six objects. So last week we did the mirror. This week's object is the bank card. So I lost my bank card last week, searched high and low for it, went through all my jeans, through all the pockets, went through my coat pockets, went through my different handbags, couldn't find it anywhere. Eventually I thought I must contact the bank and cancel the card when I received a WhatsApp from Hillary. And she said, Julia, you're all over the Facebook page for Hersham and Walton. I didn't know Hersham and Walton had got a Facebook page. Apparently a jogger was out and she was running through the town centre and found my card on the pavement. She ran past it and then thought better of it. She thought she'd better go back because what with tap tap, she thought someone could have a spending spree and Aldi with it. I was so relieved and grateful when she came to my door and placed it in my hand. Jesus tells three lost and found stories to uh, bust some of the myths that the Pharisees and disciples had about God. So the first story is called the parable of the lost coin and in it we read about a woman who lost a coin like I lost my bank card. She swept the house high and low till she found it and when she did she threw a party for her neighbours. She was so overjoyed and relieved. The second story is about a shepherd who leaves his 99 sheep to go and risk everything for the one sheep that he has lost. And the third story is that of the prodigal son and it is about a patient, graceful father who um, extends unconditional love beyond measure to his younger son who goes off for the high life and his older son, who stays at home and gets bitter and twisted when the younger one comes back. These three stories uh, tell us something uh, nuanced in particular, I think, about God, and each one's got a different emphasis. So the first one is about the joy that is experienced in heaven when we turn to God and embrace him. The second story is about God who will risk everything for our salvation. And the third story for me talks about the patience and grace of God. All of this is summed up, I think, in the words of our baptismal liturgy. For you, Jesus came into the world. For you, he lived his life. For you, he died his death upon the cross. For you, he sits at God's right hand and intercedes for you. All of this before you know anything of it. In our baptism, the words of scripture are fulfilled. We love because God loved us first. Wow, I love those words. So for spiritual exercises this week, this is what I would like you to do. Simply go outside and enjoy the sunshine and bask in the unconditional love of God for you, that is patient and gracious, that is joyful, that will risk everything for you. Amen. See you next time.